Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen will be punching if he can't challenge F1 champ, Dorn Bose Verstappen had an excellent second half of last year which saw his claim fourth place in the Drivers' Championship. Meanwhile, Hamilton cruised to his fifth world title after beating Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel by 88 points. Red Bull have swapped engine suppliers from Renault to Honda this season in a bid to close the gap to the top two teams. And Verstappen is expected to launch a challenge for the championship, now it is up to his team to deliver a capable car. Max will know immediately how successful the new car can be, so I'll be curious to see his face after a couple of laps behind the wheel, Dornbos told Zigo Sport. If he is disappointed straight away, Max will not hide it. He'll immediately be punching the table with his fist. Dornbos also explained how the chassis of the 2018 Red Bull car was made of the highest quality. But they lack the speed of Mercedes and Ferrari because of the Renault engine. Last year, the car was one of the best on the grid, if not the best, Dornbos added. It's important that the Honda engine is reliable and not inferior to Ferrari and Mercedes. If it is good enough, Max will get good results, because last year his engine was down 70 horsepower. Verstappen will be joined at Red Bull by Pierre Gasly as the youngster has replaced Daniel Ricciardo. And Dornbos has fired a warning to the former Toro Rosso driver. Pierre said that he is not coming to Red Bull to be the second driver, but I think it's better to stay quiet, he said. He has a chance to be in the top team, but at the moment for him I think it's better not to attract too much attention. Because he has no chance next to Verstappen. Of course, there are not many drivers in the paddock who would like to be Max's teammate. Lewis Hamilton can talk about it, but it won't happen. Next news Mercedes announce F1 car launch date for new title challenger, with Lewis Hamilton set to get back behind the wheel at Silverstone Shakedown Test. Lewis Hamilton will get his first drive of the Mercedes car that could propel him to a sixth Formula One World Championship on February 13. Hamilton, 34, and teammate Valtteri Bottas. Will put the new Silver Arrow through its paces during a private shakedown test at Silverstone. In recent seasons, Mercedes, the reigning five time constructors' champions, have launched their new machinery to much fanfare at the venue for the British Grand Prix, but this year's event will take place behind closed doors. Hamilton, who beat Sebastian Vettel to the championship with two rounds to spare last year, is bidding to move to within one title of Michael Schumacher's record Hall of Seven. Vettel's Ferrari team are due to unveil their car two days after Mercedes, who are the seventh team to have confirmed the launch date. The opening winter test begins in Barcelona on February 18, ahead of the season opening race in Melbourne one month later. Next news Lauda family describe rehabilitation regime. Nicky Lauda's son Matthias says his father is draining with fury as he continues his recuperation from a lung transplant and illness. The three time world champion has spent much of the past eight months hospitalized after undergoing surgery to save his life. Lauda had a lung transplant last year after falling ill while on holiday and doctors have previously revealed that the Austrian came mere days from dying, before he was operated on. Lauda's immune system was weakened by his stay in hospital, while he remained too weak to visit Grand Prix in the latter half of last season, despite aiming to have returned at the Abu Dhabi GP. A bout of flu over Christmas meant Lauda had to go back into intensive care, but he is once again at home, where a rehab regime described as intensive goes on. Matthias told La Gattadello Sport, Dad has undergone a complex operation and has had bad moments, but he has a strong character and is fighting. 
He needs to do physiotherapy to recover his energies. He trains with fury and I hope that soon we will see him in shape. I speak to him every day. When I'm not there, with him there is my brother Lucas. One of us is still in Vienna. Lotta had hoped to be present at the season opening Australian Grand Prix, but it is unclear if his recent illness will impact that. Next news Mercedes set launch date for W10. Mercedes has announced that it will take the wraps off its 2019 Challenger on February 13, the same day that Racing Point has its brand launch in Montreal. The Silver Arrows enter the season as reigning world champions, after defeating Ferrari for the world title two years in a row. It retains its lineup of five-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, and Finn Valtteri Bottas, who signed a one-year extension with the team in 2018. 2019 will mark Mercedes' 10th year in F1 since its return in 2010. In the turbo hybrid era which began in 2014, it remains undefeated, having bagged five drivers and five constructors' championships. It is believed that the team will not host an event for the launch of its car, as it has done over the last handful of years. The car will hit the Silverstone circuit on Wednesday the 13th as part of a filming day, with images of the car to be released throughout. Next news Formula 1, Michael Schumacher vs Senna who is the GOAT? The championship of the Formula 1 GOAT poll is set. Who is the sport's greatest driver of all time, Michael Schumacher or Ayrton Senna? Formula One fans have spoken, and the two drivers set to be matched up against one another in the fourth and final round, the championship round, of the Formula One GOAT poll are Michael Schumacher and Ayrton Senna. Schumacher was the number one seed in the 16 driver bracket that has been narrowed down to just two drivers over the last few weeks. Senna, meanwhile, was the number six seed behind Schumacher and number two Lewis Hamilton, number three Sebastian Vettel, number four Alain Prost and number five Juan Manuel Fangio. For more information about this entire GOAT poll process and how the seeds were determined, click on the link below. Schumacher advanced to the Formula 1 GOAT poll championship by defeating number 16 Graham Hill in the first round, the round of 16, before defeating number 8 Nicky Lauda in the second round, the round of 8, and number 13 Nigel Mansell in the third round, the round of 4. Schumacher received 93 of the vote in his round of 16 matchup with Hill while Hill received the other 7. In his round of 8 matchup with Lauda, Schumacher received 89 of the vote while Lauda received the other 11, and in his round of 4 matchup with Mansell, Schumacher received 85 of the vote while Mansell received the other 15. Senna advanced to the Formula 1 GOAT pole championship by defeating number 11 Jim Clark in the round of 16 before defeating number 3 Sebastian Vettel in the round of 8 and number 2 Lewis Hamilton in the round of 4. Senna received 85 of the vote in his round of 16 matchup with Clark while Clark received the other 15. In his round of 8 matchup with Vettel. Senna received 63 of the vote while Vettel received the other 37, and in his round of four matchup with Hamilton, Senna received 67 of the vote while Hamilton received the other 33. So who is the GOAT? Before the poll between these two drivers begins, I will leave you with a few notable statistics. Keep in mind, however, the fact that statistics don't always tell the whole story. Schumacher competed in Formula 1 for 19 seasons, and he drove full-time in 17 of them. Throughout his career in the sport, he drove in a total of 306 races. He won an all-time record 7 championships, 
and he also earned an all-time record 91 victories, an all-time record 155 podium finishes and 68 pole positions in addition to leading an all-time record 5,111 laps and recording an all-time record 77 fastest laps. Senna competed in Formula 1 for 11 seasons, and he drove full-time in all 11 of them, but his 11th and final season in the sport, the 1994 season, was cut short when he was killed as a result of a crash in the third race, the Grand Prix of San Marino. Throughout his career in the sport, Senna drove in 161 races. He won three championships. And he also earned 41 victories, 80 podium finishes and 65 pole positions in addition to leading 2,931 laps and recording 19 fastest laps. Who is the greatest Formula 1 driver of all time, Michael Schumacher or Ayrton Senna? From 6 a.m. ET tomorrow, Thursday, January 31st, through 6 a.m. ET on Friday, February 1st, you will have the opportunity to vote for who you believe deserves this title, and you can do so on our Facebook page. Be sure to take advantage of it. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wish health and success. Goodbye.